my name is Victoria Rose, and today we're gonna do a boat tour. This is a longboat in Little Venice in London. So come on in and I'll show you the ins and outs of a longboat. First of all, this is the outside. <laughs> the engine's under here. Um, we had some problems with the engine, but we got it fixed. Up here you can store things. I actually don't know much about boats, to be honest, so. Come on in, this is not my boat. All right, so first things first when you come in is that, take your shoes off. But right here on the side is all the electrical stuff. These are the small little doors. And then right here is where you keep track of electricity and the pumps and everything. And then the way you close is you just go like that. This one has two bedrooms. This is the first bedroom. This is where all our stuff is at. But you, it's decorated nicely. This boat you can actually get on Airbnb. And the links below, it's what the water milling. Like the boat does rock back and forth. But everything kind of just stays. And you have your windows like this. This is a single bed right here. So I think she said before there was bunk beds. So you can put a lot of beds in a small space. And then this is the heater. Um, this is storage space, but also, yeah, life jacket, electricity stuff in there. I don't really know much about that. So come on in to the bathroom. So this is the bathroom, which is pretty good size. I used to live in an RV and the bathrooms are like that big. So this is very spacious. And it's kind of a similar situation to an RV with the toilet. So the way that this works, and we had this all explained before she explained everything to us. So that's how we, that's how I know anything at all. Cause I do, literally don't really know much about boats. But you have to turn this, this way to flush and you just push this down and then you turn it off. And that's how you use the toilet in case you wondered. Oh, it's funny whenever I sit in the toilet. <laughs> Because my feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> I feel like a little kid. And then the shower, you turn on the shower pump, but it's like a normal shower. I thought it wouldn't be very good water pressure or whatever, but it's good. And then you have your hot and cold water, and then your little mirror, and then this is the light. So moving them all. Oh, there's doors too. You have to have these little things because since it sways, the, these types of doors close by themselves. So come into the bedroom. This is the main bedroom, the master bedroom. Come on in. You can fit through there. So this is a closet full of, you could put storage in there. It just has paddles for the kayaks. And then this is the nice bed. It's very comfortable the heater and two windows were actually sat beside another boat that you can just apparently walk across to get to this one and then if you look outside the window there well we're parked it parked <laughs> we're in a spot where we're right across a seafood restaurant but you can just close the window there's also birds and stuff in the water also this canal i've learned is actually very shallow like you could stand up in it. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the bulk of the boat, which is the uh, dining room and the kitchen and the living room. So the first is the dining area. It's a nice, spacious bench area. And you have all the views you want from both sides if you want. Because if you're out in, in the water and having both sides open, this is just someone else's house. You don't really wanna look into. This is her Instagram. <laughs> Go follow Water Millie. Who needs a fancy restaurant when you can eat in the water millie? <laughs> Moving along. She's decorated it really nice in here. It's, it's very um, um, cozy, homey, and matching. So the kitchen's kind of pink. And she, um, and then there's lots of spices. The sink, like, it's normal, right? Like, the water's pretty normal. Yeah, teas, coffees, sugar, coffee pot, uh, teapot. And then we have kettle right here. This works by, let me show you the gas first. You come along here. This is the other door and you have to turn the gas on. Ah! 
That's the gas chamber. Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's the gas place. That's where the gas cylinders are. That's where the gas cylinders are. And there's also plants out here. So this is like a nice little deck you can sit out on and um, enjoy the outside. It's very nice out here. And it's really cold. <laughs> we didn't have heat the whole morning because the belt broke. Just close these. I'm not really sure how. I look very unprofessional right now. <laughs> <Help>. <laughs> Fish bash, bosh bosh. There we go. Perfect. Right here, there's a selection of games. Um, this doesn't really need to be included in the video, but I did win Connect Four four times against my opponent, which is the camera <laughs> guy right here. But yeah, there's lots of games. I hate board games. Then this is the nice yellow couch it's very nice those birds are so loud we named them the monkey dinosaur bird because it's like a monkey and a dinosaur actually if you look at the other also i have a vegetarian steak slice it's a good everything's a good size it's not too small like like john is a six foot what two and then i am five foot four for size references Oof. I feel I feel it's pretty spacious in here compared to like van life or something like that. No one really thinks about boat life, but it's much more interesting I think because you have the whole dynamic of water. Oh yeah. So when you turn the gas on, then you can use the stove. Uh, I haven't used it. He won't let me cook. He won't let me cook. I tried to yesterday. And he's he shot up and said no 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 no. Because he thinks he's better at everything than me. I am better. So that's the fridge. I mean, we could try using the oven to put my steak thing in it. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's turn the gas on. Okay, so go do the gas turning up. You have to turn on the electricity, the water pumps, like you saw for the toilet. There's just a lot of different aspects of things you have to remember to do. We haven't actually. I haven't <laughs> we, used the oven yet. We haven't used the oven yet. We, we did use the stove top. So this thing gonna make right now. I feel like that's like a toaster or something. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Nice. Yep. Do you have to turn this thing on? Okay, so we're cooking dinner. Easy peasy. What should we do in it? We need to keep an eye on it just in case the fucking thing goes and we're just gassing the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is the kitchen area. That's where you can that's where I put on my makeup. There's lights everywhere and lights up here. And then light comes through here during the day as well. But it's it's very long. Like if you see it from start to finish. Just come in here. Room one. Bathroom. Room two. Done. It's a little bit burnt. A la burnt pastry. Dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, crispy. Oh. Oh, there's another boat going across. Also, I think it's common to kind of like bump each other's boats from time to time, but I don't think it's an offense. Oh. So interesting. Some of these boats are really long. He's a boat painter. Uh. And also, it's nice because a lot of people have little gardens and lots of plants on their boats. He's a little greenhouse in the back. Oh, look at the dog! Thank you so much for coming to this boat tour. Stay tuned because I'm going to do a day in the life of boat life after this video. But stay tuned for those. Um, I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial. Okay, goodbye. I got it. Do you want to take a trip to California with me? Uh, yeah, take a trip to California.